Good afternoon and welcome to Wallace TV from the Lebby Kitchen. I hope you're all doing very well. Well, Valentine's Day is coming and what better way to show your loved one how much you truly love them than to cooking them a lovely steak meal with a homemade sauce. Accompaniments can be vegetables, can be rice, can be chips, can be garlic bread or all of them depending on how hungry you are. The three meats that we're going to show you how to cook today is a beautiful sirloin steak, a pork steak or a chicken breast. Ingredients. There's a list of ingredients just here. Please make sure you get all those ready. The ones that we're going to be using today are being listed for your convenience. So make sure you get those ready before you start. Let's start cooking. So we've got a frying pan. They say get the frying pan smoke hot. It doesn't have to be smoke hot. But if you drop water in, it's like a ball of mercury bouncing on the surface. That's exactly what you want, okay? So for the pork, we're going to add a little bit of oil to the pan. That pork oil is there. Okay, a little bit of pepper. But don't put any salt in there just yet because you don't want it to draw any of the moisture out. So we're going to leave that for about two and a half minutes. And while that's cooking, I'm just going to go and drop the other chips in the oven. 15, 20 minutes, they'll be ready to go. And as you see, the good marker, you can see the cooking is slowly going towards the middle, okay? You see, it doesn't even make it as a tuna fish steak. It's exactly the same whether you're cooking it, you can see. So once that gets about halfway midway through, we're going to pop that into the oven about 10 minutes or so to make sure that's cooked through again. And now, I'm going to pop this in the oven. Okay, while the pork is cooking, let's get the chicken on. As we know, with chicken, it's not exactly the flattest of meats. So get yourself some clip film or a plastic bag or whatever and just give it a little bit of a bash. So it's flat. A little bit of oil in the pan. And we're going to put the chicken in the pan too. Now with chicken, you don't want it to be too hot. Unlike pork and beef, because you don't want it to burn the outside of the skin before the meat is inside. So we just, just before it gets smoking hot, as the previous pan was, but as you can hear, it's starting to get up to temperature now. We're going to give that about a minute or two, flip it round and pop this into the oven as well, okay? Give it a bit of seasoning, a little bit of butter in. Perfect. I'm just going to give that a minute or so. Just to give it some heat on the inside, then we're going to pop that in the oven with pork. Oh, garlic bread, my favourite. I've made no choice in there. About five minutes in the oven. You can always drop it in the toaster, but because I like to do the garlic bread with a real nice thick slice, sometimes the toasters don't work. So just drop it in the oven about five or six minutes. It's absolutely perfect. Okay, while those two are cooking, the chicken and the pork, let's get this steak on. So this time we're going to use a griddle. Because the griddle has got grooves, we don't put the oil in the pan, we put the oil on the meat. I'm just going to drop that in. A bit of black pepper. So as we can see, the cooking is creeping up that side now. So it's ready to flip up. Minute and a half, two minutes either side, depending on the thickness of the steak. If that was a good inch thick, it's about two thirds of an inch, then I'd probably given it a little bit longer. And then we're gonna allow it to rest. And while it rests for five minutes, it continues cooking. We'll take it off the heat now and let that rest for five minutes. Gonna drop that onto a plate now because we're going to use this frying pan to make our sauce. Because we've used two pans, we want all that goodness from while this meat's been cooking off those pans. You stick the pan back on the hob, make sure it's still smoking, and you want this to happen. You put a little bit of brandy. And then we've got some pre-cooked mushrooms and you can't beat mushrooms and it goes perfect with steak, chicken and pork. It doesn't matter, the stronger the flavour, the more obviously the mushroom flavour will come through. You can use button mushrooms or shiitake, any sort of mushrooms really. A bit of seasoning and some cracked black pepper, fresh pine. And now those mushrooms have absorbed all that goodness and reduced the heat. And now we use some fresh. Now just to thin that sauce out a little bit, we're gonna add a little bit more of this stock. You can use chicken stock, beef stock, vegetable stock, bullion, whatever you've got in the cupboard really, it doesn't matter. Okay, we're just gonna let that reduce for a little bit now. Okay, and I would say that that sauce is pretty much done. <laughs> right then, so we have the pork, we have the steak, we have the chicken.
I know I'm using the back of a spoon, but to be fair, it's probably the easiest way of spreading butter. See just how this was cooked. There you have three different meats cooked, a pork loin steak, a chicken fillet, and a beef steak with a beautiful mushroom sauce, and obviously, a slice of garlic bread to match. I, he has the most perfect time in the world. It's me, Matthew. What's that aroma of How do you, you tell? Office? How do you what tell? Is that aroma well, we just, we just, the just Valentine's Day's coming up, Dad. So what we thought we'd do is a little video on how to cook the perfect pork loin steak, chicken fillet, or beef steak with a lovely mushroom cream. That's sauce. absolutely delicious. Well, you take your pick, which you want, Dad. Now, who cooked that? Well, that would be me. No. Yeah. Hey. I know, I know, I know. Just Mum did such a great job with me. <laughs> well, a better job than I would have Which one would you like? Shall I have the chicken? What a lucky man. I better give one of these to my brother as well, no? Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope that's very helpful to you and informative. And with 18 minutes from raw to cook, look how much time you got for the evening. Well, this TV. Have a great night.